Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. We are back inside of Heptabase and today I am going to show you how you can use this as a to-do list as well. So I have been planning this video for such a long time but I haven't done it simply because I didn't think the update was shipped because I don't have the to-dos here inside of my... Uh, sidebar but it is actually quite easy so if you don't have it yet it's probably because you don't have any to do's once you create a to do it uh, you get the task sidebar and today we are going to go through what the task sidebar is and how you can use it so let's just jump right into it the first thing is that i actually need to make a to do so take out the trash we are back uh, with taking out the trash and as you can see it shows me my to do's i could change this to another day i could change this to tomorrow i could even change it to next week uh, and it will stay inside of upcoming. Then I have overdue tasks and I have tasks without a due date. So let's say I would jump into my card, uh, card library and into one of my notes. Let's say we are going into see you on notes uh, and we will create a to do inside of here. Uh, and this will be film uh, video see you on notes. And this should come up inside of my tasks, but it doesn't have a due date here. I can give it a due date, so I could give it due date for tomorrow or even later. And that is actually quite cool uh, because I really like the fact that it, it stores your to-dos from all of your different cards which makes it a lot easier to plan out projects inside of this app. So if you don't know yet, I use um, Heptabase for most of my personal life and I use um, I use AnyType for a lot of my um, social media and social media planning. I also use Heptabase a little bit at work when I'm allowed to but anyways, you could create several different projects like my project whiteboard here. Uh, and let's say I had a new YouTube video. Uh, I will create a whiteboard uh, and we will change the name of this whiteboard to be Heptabase video. Heptabase video. Um, and we can easily create a new card. We will call this card... Um, to do's for heptabase video so i'm just showing you how i would plan a project inside of here and i would search for everything regarding heptabase um, and we can just drag everything i have around heptabase so um, i've dragged some of them into here and this could be a uh, how I would structure the video, how I would structure my workflow. So we would create a to-do list. The first to-do would be research and then it would be script. So I could script it out. Then it would be probably filming the video, film the video um, and publish the video. That's probably my entire workflow for a video. And you can see that everything comes uh, up in the to-do section. And you can actually press the card to see the whole card. So once things are done, I can just mark them as done. And we can jump back into my map, uh, into my projects and into YouTube videos. You can see that all of these have been checked off. I will delete this from my card library because I don't need it. I am already creating the video. But this is a great addition to, uh, to Heptabase because this is something every single note-taking app should have these days. Most of them already do and Heptabase has been a little bit behind because it didn't have this. 
but as you can see, once I have finished up all of my tasks, it disappears from my sidebar again. Something I think is really cool, but uh, a little hard to understand at first. Uh, and as you already know or may know, uh, if you add to-dos inside of your journals, uh, they get the due date for that specific day. So if I would add something for tomorrow, it would get the due date tomorrow. Overall, I think this is a great addition. There are probably some minor things that need to be added into the to-do uh, list. But overall, this is a really good start and it fits uh, Heptabase so well because of the way the journals are structured and how you can plan project in mind maps. So you could have a mind map with several different to-dos inside of several different cards. So I think this is really cool. If they add something like uh, assignees, this would probably become a great app for teams as well, because I know a lot of teams use Miro, but I believe that Heptabase is a lot better than Miro is because of the note-taking aspect as well. But this is a really cool update and I'm really excited to see that they are really developing this app. So if you haven't tried it out yet, I recommend trying it out. I will leave a link to it down below and I hope to see you again quite soon.